to get started and um, introduce you to Tim Kraskoff. Um, Tim, in 1984, it, er, received uh, his first degree, Bachelor of Arts, from the College of Arts and Sciences and Integrated Sciences program. He co-founded the internet startup company Spyglass in 1990, which became, in 1995, the first internet software company to go public. Spyglass created Mosaic, the web browser which gave uh, rise to Microsoft's Internet Explorer. Tim returned to Northwestern to earn his MBA in 1999. In 2001, he was profiled in the top 100 most influential people in Chicago, simultaneously signing, up, signing on as VP and general manager as the wireless division of, at Motorola. In 2002, he began his own consulting firm, Round Lake Designs, and his own trucking company, Round Lake Freight. Now he is CEO of Freight Zone, a new startup company providing software to help their customers arrange truck transportation. Throughout his career, though, Tim has always managed to find time for Northwestern. He was originally elected to serve on the Board of Trustees in 1996, and has been a member of the WCAS Board of Visitors since 1998. And he's, for the last four years, been very instrumental in, in, in advising my, my team and my department in helping to reach out to broader audiences within the alumni community to help you know, garner support and raise purple pride. So, Tim. <laughs> All right, thank you, Bridget. And I apologize in advance, Bridget, if I make fun of anything you guys are putting together in terms of, of programs. I, I've sort of taken it on in the last uh, uh, four years is sort of uh, move things forward, get ideas about making uh, these programs sort of more progressive, more meaningful, more personal to uh, everybody, everybody that's involved. Um, so I'm a Northwestern trustee, and for most of you, you get to say, oh, that's what one of them looks like. Uh, we, we are a little uh, cookie cutter, actually, a little uh, more than, uh, uh, than I'm often comfortable with. But um, <laughs> this, uh, uh, this is always a challenge. So you come into this room, and you guys are senior leaders, and you have strong ties to Northwestern. I'm on the trustee, Board of Trustees, the governing group of a $1.5 billion corporation that has 7,000 employees. And I'm here as a representative of that. We just did, with you guys, a four-year, $200,000 transaction as you earned your degree. And you paid for it, and you earned it, and you put in all that effort, and now I'm here to ask you for a gift. Uh, that's why this is such a challenge. Uh, I'm going to ask really nice, but uh, it's going to have to be, be uh, creative, but also need to explain to you how things have changed and what this program means in terms of a transition as you, as you graduate. So one of the things I'll, I'll do, I love making fun of the old way that this was done. Um, so your parents' generation, my, my generation, we, when we graduated, uh, the way this would go is you'd invite everybody into the secret hall of presidents. Uh, you know, so, you know, the shock and awe, the, the majesty of the university, and if you, if you could, you know, if you're the University of Chicago, you could have the Gothic columns and stuff out front too. But, um, and then you uh, you get the oldest trustee you can. So you know, picture somebody like that guy up there with the beard, you know, coming in, and he says, uh, "On behalf of the trustees of Northwestern University, welcome in, in advance to the prestigious rank of alumnus of Northwestern University." Blah, blah, blah. Uh, now that we have bestowed this gift on you of your degree, with great benefit comes great responsibility to give, give early, give often, blah, 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 blah. Then they try to sell you a bench. You know, one of those benches with a little plaque that has a you know, <laughs> gift of class of something like, or, or a fountain. Uh, isn't that the rumor about the rock, that it's really a fountain that was a class gift given by a previous generation? But I think there's only one rock. I, I don't know that, that this class, as a senior class, can really aspire to uh, you know, the next rock or something like that, or that you really would be interested in a plaque. So as part of 
what's really happened across the country in, in, in all prestigious universities, but certainly at Northwestern in the last four years, is that's changed. And it's changed in some very important ways that I, that I want to try to detail a few, few things about for you. And the two biggest shifts in perception are your personal connection to Northwestern and participation rates. And by incorporating those two, we go to sort of a whole new platform for what the senior class gift and how, uh, how you transition into to being alums. So personal connection with a big institution can be hard to define. It's hard to create, but it happens every day. Um, it's not just solicitation letters signed by a classmate. That's, that's, not, that's not your personal connection. Deep down, I know my relationship with Northwestern, what I did here as a student, and even what I've, I've uh, done in terms of helping out later, it's a personal connection. And I'm sure yours is also a personal connection. For other seniors, it's also a personal connection. So what we need to do with this program is celebrate that and tie people into their personal connections to Northwestern. It's not gifts for Northwestern, the big corporation. It's about how these gifts can be packaged and put to use in a way that's personal to you and personal for each person that gives a gift. So I'll tell you a story from my past. Um, as a student, I had really my personal connection with one key aspect of Northwestern, the Integrated Science Program. It was in its early years, it was a perfect match for me. It was the right kind of intellectual uh, stimulation, the right kind of uh, classwork, the right kind of colleagues that, that went through it with me. Um, I, maybe I should have spread out a little more, but we didn't have the kind of great uh, study abroad uh, programs that are, that are here today. Um, but it was still a fantastic experience. I, I've used things that I learned in class, even that weren't directly in the, the career that I uh, uh, took on. Uh, outside of class stuff, work study things, got some lifelong friends. My key personal connection to Northwestern is ISP. So I had that great feeling in the place. I graduated, but I still dodged the corporation. You know, you get the, you get the solicitations, you kind of ignore them because they just say Northwestern University. Um, but it's when I came back, and realized that I could tie my giving and my wanting to help Northwestern to ISP directly, because they never told me I could do that, um, that started my ongoing relationship with Northwestern. And now it's broadened into other areas that I'm personally interested in at, at Northwestern. Because I actually rarely donate to Northwestern University. And so Bridget, has, her job is to kind of push you the other direction, but I, I'll, I'll push you this way. Um, I've donated to ISP, to the Transportation Center, to WCAS, to the new Chemistry of Life Processes Institute. I like the people and the science being done there. I've got a business connection to the Transportation Center. When um, Provost Linder, Linzer became the dean of WCAS, I was on the advisory board of uh, WCAS, and I donated $1,000 for him to apply to whatever area he thought needed the most support. It, uh, it went to fund student research projects that uh, he wanted to make sure were supported across the board. It wasn't a huge amount, but it had a high amount of leverage at that point. And it was also, that's also a personal connection with a, a person at Northwestern that um, helped make it important to me. So last year, most of the senior gifts were to a school or a department or a program or to uh, student life. So if your gift goes to a school, the dean decides where those funds are best used. If it goes to a department, the chair of the department or a program, the, the head of that program. Often, that gets you the highest leverage because those are the people that know where the, where the areas of greatest need are for those, those programs. So as you think about maybe signing up for this and organizing for the senior class, gift, I should say gifts, uh, you know, plural, um, think about those uh, partnerships and what you're, you're interested in and how to get other seniors uh, interested in tying in that way. So there's another way that you're tied in Northwestern will always be personal, and that is with the other people, the people you're graduating with, your friends, and even ones that you just uh, spent some time with here, and I'll relate my story uh, there as well. I was trying to grow a little company called Spyglass. It turned out to be a success, but in, in this particular meeting, it wasn't yet. It was the biggest meeting of my life. I was going to have managers and developers at Microsoft review our software code. 
to see if the internet browser that we had was good enough to be put in with Windows 95. So I'm headed up to Redmond, go into the meeting room, wait, you know, the guys will be here. So these are hotshot Microsoft engineers that are going to come in and review my code and figure out whether it's good enough. And they walk in the room and one of the guys says, hi, Tim, long time no see. It was Ben Slivka. So it turned out that Mosaic becoming Internet Explorer and the whole development of the World Wide Web had two very strong Northwestern connections, but also a connection between us. I had worked with Ben in the computer center for two years while I was here. We went off in these independent directions. He was working on Windows 95, and then we came together. I don't even know if he knew that I was going to be in that, in that meeting. Um, I certainly didn't know until he walked in, the, uh, walked in the room. So it ended up being my code handed over to his, uh, his engineering team that, uh, that became Internet Explorer. And now he is a trustee here as well. So those are my two big personal tie stories to Northwestern. Yours are different. There's going to be a different set of stories. And then as your life unfolds, there'll be even more stories about how people can be tied into uh, uh, to Northwestern. And that's the biggest change to the senior class gift. Not uh, organize this around a bench or something that you try to get everybody to agree to, but to really get people involved in the process of how they're connected to Northwestern. The second big change about the senior gift and all young alumni in, uh, involvement, it's driven by a certain reality. You guys don't have any money. Uh, we hope you are all really successful throughout your careers and that some of you get the opportunity I did to uh, be a financial success and come back and do large donations to Northwestern. That's a great thought about a long-term future of cultivation, but this is a time in your life, you know, the ten, first 10 years out of college, you'll be working on career, probably family, and that, doesn't, that means that your total financial contributions to Northwestern aren't going to be the biggest game changers for Northwestern. The game changers is your ongoing participation and interest. So we changed the focus to participation rates. And it's really about showing you how to give to Northwestern and how to stay involved. And so that counts the broader that you get the participation rate. Um, as I mentioned before, no one even told me that I could donate just directly to ISP. The solicitations I got just said Northwestern University. Um, so I didn't have much contact, really. Um, eventually found out I could. Uh, you know, in many ways, I was never invited back. Um, was never encouraged to have that personal connection back with Northwestern. And so when I agreed to give this talk, that was the number one thing that I wanted to make sure happened. From the trustee level, you'll be hearing from the provost, I want to invite you back. I want to invite you to stay involved. Uh, there are ways to do that. You can stay involved with the thing that you care about most at, uh, at Northwestern. At least keep your Northwestern email up to date. I didn't have that option. Boy, am I getting old. Um, the, uh, uh, if you live in the area, come back for sports events, guest speakers, performances at Pick Stager, come back for Dance Marathon, whether you live in the area or not, visit your professors to see what they're working on, uh, join the alumni groups on Facebook and LinkedIn. Uh, there are a couple of good uh, email lists, a little bit generic, but there's still a great way to see what's going on with either alumni clubs or, or things happening at, uh, at Northwestern. Uh, stay involved there and consider yourself invited. So I not only need to invite you, but through you, the rest of the entire senior class. And I'm hoping that you will look at this as an interesting project to, to do that, to realize that the whole class is invited to, to do this and that you can help do that. As organizers for the senior gift, your biggest challenge among your peers is to explain how they can make the senior gift personal to each and every one of them individually. And I'll give you three primary things to think about or talk about as you do that. The first is along the lines of what I've already talked about. Find out what's personal to them. Were they on the swim team? Were they involved in a particular program, particular extracurricular, um, particular research project? 
uh, find what they connect with, identify with, and teach them that they can use this gift project to, uh, you know, to tie in more closely and to actually help change and, and, and move forward those, those programs. Um, so the second of the three is to remember that your degree never leaves you. You will always be associated every time you do a job interview, every time you talk about where you went to school, what your qualifications are, it'll include a Northwestern degree. The stronger Northwestern is, the better your job prospects are for the rest of your lives. I have benefited because Northwestern is a better institution and a better university today than when I graduated. And so I can personally attest to that. And you've got the opportunity to sign up and be a part of, uh, of having that trend continue. Um, and even the small contributions now help a lot, but then also cultivating for the future. The third of the three for convincing other seniors is kind of crass and practical. Inside those folder packets on the right-hand side, you have some of the data. But ever since most major universities started moving towards more class participation, and US News and World Report decided that alumni giving was, and participation rates for alumni giving uh, was a good way to measure the value of university, the value of your degree, and they publish it every year, uh, your degree changes in value with those results. And some people will just be practical enough that that's, uh, <laughs> that's enough reason to contribute. Because uh, partition, participation rates don't really have a value cutoff. Is there a, a, a target amount? Is it the same as last year, only one penny higher? Oh, yeah, $20.11? $20. $20. No, it's just a suggestion. Right. Um, but at that level, uh, participation rates have a practical impact on, uh, on the results. Right. As I, as I close, there's one more thing that I, that I want to convince you of. And that is, as trustees, we're not cynical. We're not cynical about Northwestern. We're not cynical about this process. Uh, we, have, we get a great view of the whole university from the, from the governance point of view. But we don't really have any more interest in this billion dollar corporation than you do. We're not shareholders. We get no financial benefit out of it. We're volunteers. We tend to be donors. So we want to be here because we want to be part of the aspiration, part of the place that educates future generations and creates new knowledge. So it's hard to believe that we like money so much that it's just about the 20 bucks from each person in the senior class or the $270,000 it might add up to. Um, we get excited by cures for cancer, program how to, programs on how to improve energy on this planet, uh, teaching the next generation of Al Jazeera reporters how to do journalism better. The list goes on and on. If we were cynical and omniscient, we would just be going after for your dollars, and then we would plan all of our ways of changing the world and taking over and all of those things. But that's not really how it, how it works. What we have to do instead, what we want to do instead, is invite the smartest and best people we know to come be a part of it. And where do you want to start? Well, you want to start with your own very smart and talented graduates. Um, when you get involved, when you see where your resources make the big, big, biggest impact and make it personal to you, that's what's eventually going to cure cancer. So Northwestern trustees don't just want a better ranking with greater senior class participation. We'll take it, but that's not, the, that's not the only goal. We want to invite you to do what you can at whatever scale you can. Um, it's the same as what we do. It may be on a different scale today. It may be on a bigger sc scale uh, in the future. All the trustees have their own personal connection to NU. Some of it's sports, some in the med school, some in particular types of research, some in humanities, some with a particular professor, some even with the library. Well, my apologies to library people. Uh, we want to invite you to participate in the future aspirations, not just get a bench with a plaque has your class name on it. So as part of this personal invitation from the trustees, the trustees are providing a matching grant for this program. So up to $50 a person, it's going to be matched dollar for dollar. So anybody that wants to donate to their particular program or uh, student life effort or their college or their major, uh, all of your contributions will be double uh, up, to the, up to that 
$50, and we'll keep going beyond that too, but. Uh, <laughs> and that is funded directly by uh, trustees, including myself, that will, will make that happen. We want you to find your per personal connection to Northwestern. We want to put that extra incentive out there to make it really worthwhile. We want to double your impact, and that's why I'm here to kick this off. So congratulations in advance on your graduation. We're glad you're becoming alums. Hopefully the senior gift project will be more successful than ever, and go Cats. <laughs>